guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at TSA-friendly multi-tools. All of the tools featured in this video satisfy the TSA's rules on sharp objects. Uh, most of these uh, tools don't really have sharp objects, save for uh, the tools with scissors, but again, they do satisfy the scissor length requirements. But of course, getting your tool past TSA all really depends on the agent looking at your tool and inspecting your bag. If they're having a bad day or if they're just a stickler, they can easily deny you or take your tool away from you. First up is the Leatherman Tread. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Leatherman Tread was basically made to be a TSA-friendly multi-tool. As you can see, it's a lot different from your traditional Leatherman tool that's plier-based or knife-based. It was made to look very unassuming and uh, really just look like a fashion accessory, but it's actually a very functional tool that you can wear on your wrist, and when you need to use a tool, say uh, this Phillips head screwdriver, you grip the tool like this and then use it. It's a really cool design. I am a big fan of the Leatherman Tread. I think it's really awesome. I love how it's unassuming and it just looks like a fashion accessory and no one really bats an eye until they look closer to it. The biggest thing about this tool and really the other tools on this table is that it lacks a knife blade, but despite that, it does have a safety cutter uh, hidden away near the bottle opener. The blade is pretty sharp and it's very small and unassuming. The tread has a plethora of tools. You can add more links or take the links away depending on your wrist size. And uh, one of my favorite tools on the tread is actually its bottle opener. It's a pretty cool party trick. The bottle opener is right here. And so if you want to pop open a cold one, you get your bottle and then you pop it off with your wrist. And it's really cool. A lot of people just think, oh, how'd you open it? You use like your watch or something and then I show them the tool. It's a great conversation starter as well and you get a lot of tools on a very cool form factor while being TSA friendly. Next up is the Leatherman Raptor Rescue. These are foldable trauma shears with multiple tools on top of them. Uh, the rules for TSA scissors is that the uh, blades of the scissors need to be less than four inches from the pivot. These are barely even three inches, so they satisfy the requirement. They're, they also have blunt tips, which is nice. The actual trauma shears themselves are razor sharp and can cut through anything, which is awesome. It also has a ring cutter for, for uh, cutting off rings or smaller things like zip ties and hard to get areas. And in the closed position, you get a good amount of tools as well. You have uh, your oxygen tank wrench as well as a safety cutter. It's meant for cutting seat belts or even clothing off an injured person. But if you do not actually have a knife because you are traveling by plane and didn't check one in in a check-in bag, uh, this safety cutter could be a great alternative. You also have a carbide glass breaker at the end. The last TSA friendly Leatherman tool in this video is the Leatherman Style PS. This is a keychain size Leatherman multi-tool that has a plethora of tools while also lacking a knife blade, making it TSA friendly. You get a small pair of spring action pliers, which is awesome. And then on the outside, you have a carabiner slash bottle opener. You have a small combo tool with a nail file and flathead screwdriver slash mini scraper slash pry tool. And then you have a small pair of spring action scissors. Again, way below four inches, meaning it's TSA safe. And then you also have a pair of tweezers, really handy. This is a very compact multi-tool you can just throw on your key ring and have it when you need it and it's full of a lot of very useful tools. Next up, I have kind of a category of TSA friendly tools. Basically any uh, small pry bar based tools are safe. Obviously there is no knife blade or sharp objects on these. This is the CRKT Viva. I believe they this tool is actually discontinued but uh, I think CRKT makes something similar in a carabiner style configuration. Uh, this tool specifically has uh, multiple wrenches uh, in the middle of the tool as a bottle opener, as a flathead screwdriver slash pry bar, as well as being uh, relatively large so you can get a good grip when using the tools. And then this is the Gerber Shard. This is very inexpensive. I think it's less than five dollars and for that you get a bottle opener, you get a Phillips head screwdriver, you also get multiple uh, flathead screwdrivers, pry bars, as well as a nail puller. It's pretty solid for only $5.
And really, there are a plethora of pry bar based multi tools uh, that are similar to these that are fairly inexpensive and because they lack that knife blade are TSA friendly. And next up, I have another category that's great for TSA friendly multi tools, and that would be utility blades without the actual blade. This is the Big Idea Design TPT titanium pocket tool. Uh, obviously, I removed the blade, and with that, you get um, a flathead screwdriver slash pry bar slash scraper. You get a hex bit driver, and then uh, with the blade removed, you have a bottle opener as well as a multi wrench similar to the CRKT Viva. And uh, a good trick with uh, utility blades like the TPT is that you can bring it without the blade, pass it through T TSA security, and wherever you land, utility blades are sold almost everywhere. Just go to like the local hardware store and then buy a utility blade. So you will have a utility blade slash knife with you during the duration of your trip and when you're going back home just leave behind the blade itself or throw it away and bring your tool back with you home. The TPT is definitely expensive but there are plenty of cheaper alternatives out there on Amazon. The last tool I unfortunately don't have yet but uh, it is the Victorinox Jet Setter. It's basically the same exact form factor as the Classic SD. Uh, you have the tweezers, you have the toothpick, and you have the awesome spring action scissors on the right side but on the left side in instead of the knife blade and uh, nail file slash screwdriver it's replaced with a single multi-tool it consists of a phillips head screwdriver a bottle opener and a wire stripper you get a lot of great tools packed into a very compact and classic form factor without that knife blade making it tsa friendly so what are you guys' favorite tsa friendly multi-tools did i miss any really good ones uh let me know down in the comments so that's gonna do it for this video like and subscribe if you enjoyed follow me on my socials and thanks for watching.